हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैव डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस थर्टीन प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर फोर द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द ट्वेंटी न्यूटन हॉरिजेंटल फोर्स एक्ट्स ऑन द हैंडल ऑफ द साकेट रेंज वट इज द मोमेंट ऑफ दिस फोर्स अबाउट पॉइंट बी स्पेसिफाई द कोऑर्डिनेट डायरेक्शन एंगल्स अल्फा बीटा एंड गेमा ऑफ द मोमेंट एक्सेस now we can solve this problem by using the scalar method and the vector method so i will use both of the methods to find the moment of this 20 newton force and it is said that it is horizontal so by horizontal it means that it is lying in a plane which is parallel to the x and y axis so first of all we will use the scalar method and in scalar method we always use this equation that the moment is equal to f multiply by the perpendicular distance and since this force uh, 20 newton force is making some angle with the y axis this is the line parallel to the y axis so it is making 60 degree so we can resolve this uh, 20 newton force into its components so to find the moment of this we will use the varignan's theorem and we will find the moment of the uh, individual components Uh, about that point b and then we will sum the moments of both of these components to find the moment of this 20 newton force so the varignan's theorem says that the moment of a given force is always equal to uh, the f of x that is the x component multiplied by the, its corresponding perpendicular distance plus let's say this is d1 and f of y multiplied by d2 so the sum of the moments of the components is always equal to the moment of the resultant of those two components are three components so now if i resolve this 20 newton force into its components so we will have one component which will be acting in this direction and this one will be this component is parallel to the y axis so this is f of y let's say this is f so this is 20 cos of 60 degrees and similarly we will have one another component like this so this component is this component is parallel to the x axis so this is f of x and this is 20 sin of 60 degrees and the perpendicular distance of f of x from that point b is this 200 meter 200 mm so this is d1 and that formula and the perpendicular distance of this f of y from that point b is this 10 mm distance so this is this 10 mm is d2 so now the moment of that 20 newton force about point b is f of x now f of x is 20 sin of 60 into its perpendicular distance and its perpendicular distance is uh, 200 mm so 200 or uh, if we convert this mm into meter so it will be 200 divided by 1000 so that will be 0.2 meters so let me write it in 0.2 and we are assuming that the counter clockwise moment is positive so now this f of x is uh, trying to rotate uh, this socket wrench in this direction like this so if we rotate if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will be pointing out in the negative z direction so this means that uh, the moment produced by this f of x is the negative moment it is the uh clockwise moment if we look it from above right since the thumb is pointing out in the negative z direction so we have to write minus sign here similarly this f of y is uh going to produce uh is going to rotate this wrench in this direction like this and now if we curl our right hand finger in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive z direction so it is going to produce the positive moment that is the counter clockwise moment so that is plus f of y is 20 cos of 60 and multiply by its perpendicular distance and its perpendicular distance from the y axis is, is 10 mm right so we will multiply it with uh, 10 mm divided by 1000 so that will be 0.01 meters now if we calculate this this is uh minus minus 20 sin of 60 multiply by 0.2 so this gives us minus 3.464 minus 3.464 plus 20 into 
20 cos of 60 multiply by 0 0.01 this gives a 0 0.1 so this will be minus 3.364 and the units will be in Newton meters now the minus sign indicates that this 20 Newton force is going to produce the moment about the z-axis uh, but that will be negative so this means that the moment produces in this direction that is in the counter uh, that is in the clockwise direction if we observe the motion from from this direction right so from this we can write that mv the moment about point b magnitude is 3.364 newton meter and it is clockwise moment about the z axis And if you want to write this mb as a vector, then we can write that this mb is this mb is 3.364 and the minus sign tells us is the moment is about the negative uh, z axis. So, we will write that this is minus k. So, this is that mb vector. So, this is this is we have written this from using the scalar method now how to find this exact vector using the vector method so from vector method is we know that the moment is always the cross product of the moment arm the moment arm and the force so for this particular force uh, the moment arm will be from B to A, right? So, let me define, let me draw that uh, moment arm. So, this is the moment arm and this is from B to A. So, this, we can write this moment arm or this is, let me write this is RBA. So, this will be RBA. So, this is the moment about point B. So, the moment about point B. And now, we have to find this moment arm. So this is the position vector from B to A. So the position vector from B to A is, so we have to travel along the x, y and z axis to reach that point A to write this position vector from B to A. So now the position vector from B to A is we need to travel 200 mm in the positive y direction. So 200 mm is 0.2 meters in the positive y. So I will write 0 0.2 meters in the positive y that is in the positive j. And then we have to travel uh, this 10 mm distance in the negative x, right? We will travel this 0.2 meters and then 10 mm. So 10 mm divided by 1000 is 0 0.01. So 0 0.01 mm in the negative x. So I will write uh, 0 0.01 in the negative i and 0 0.2 mm in the positive j. And there is no need to travel in the k direction. So that will become 0 k. So now this is the moment arm of that force F and we will take the cross product and we know that force F. So F force F has two components that is F of X that is 20 sine of 60, 20 sine of 60 this is 17.32 uh, so that is 17.32 and it is acting in the positive X so we will write positive I with it and similarly this F of Y so this is 20 cos of 60 this gives us 10 and it is acting in the negative y so i will write 10 with minus j and its k component is 0 as well so we will write 0 k so now we can take this uh, cross product we will write it as a determinant of a matrix that is i j and k this is minus 0 0.01 0 0.20 0, and this is 17.32 minus 10 and 0. Now I will use the uh, shortcut method to find this cross product. So I will repeat, I will write these rows, these columns again. So that is I, this is minus 0 0.01, 17.32, and this is 0 0.2, and this is minus 10. And now we will multiply uh, in the diagonal direction. We will multiply these values. So that will be um, 
this is 0 0.2 into 0 so that is 0 i then we will multiply this this diagonal and from left to right that will be positive values we have to multiply that with positive positive 1 so that is j into 0 plus j into 0 into 17.32 is 0 j plus 0 j and then we will multiply this so this is minus 0 0.01 into minus 10 into plus in this direction we have to write that that is plus minus 0 0.01 into minus 10 into k so this will give us 0 0.01 into 10 will be 0 0.1 right 0 0.01 into 10 is 0 0.1 so that is plus 0 0.1 k this is plus 0 0.1 k now again we will repeat the same method from again from uh, left to right but from the bottom so now i will multiply these values but now i have to put minus sign so now this is minus 17.32 into 0 0.2 and into j and then this sorry this is this will be 17.32 uh, we have to multiply it with diagonal right so this 17.2 0 0.2 into k so this is k remember and then this is minus 10 into 0 into i so that will become uh, 0 i and then 0 into minus 0 0.01 into j so that will become 0 as well so that is 0 j you people can do that uh, that conventional method of finding the cross product right so by considering this and then the the sub matrix and then doing all those methods so if I if I do that method that will give me the same answer so I will do that method in, in the end right so now this is 0 i 0 j 0 i 0 j so we are only left with this uh, k terms right so now if I simplify this this is uh, 0 0.1 minus 17.32 into 0 0.2 and this is into k so now if we simplify this we will get that same answer which we have obtained by using the scalar method so 0 0.1 minus 17.32 into 0 0.2 so this is minus 3.364 minus 3.364 k so this is the moment about point b vector which is minus 3.364 k so now the moment magnitude is the a moment magnitude is 3.364 newton meter and it's the its unit vector the unit vector of the moment is in the negative k so the moment is about the negative k now in the problem statement we are asked to find the coordinate direction angles of the moment axis so this is the moment axis so we can write this unit vector is 0 i plus 0 j minus k so now to find the alpha beta and gamma angle we know that uh, alpha is always equal to or we can say that cos of alpha is always equal to the x component so the x component is 0 divided by its magnitude so the magnitude is 1 since it is the unit vector so 0 divided by 1 is 0 and if we take cos inverse so that will give us alpha so alpha is cos inverse 0 so cos inverse 0 is 90 degrees this means that alpha is 90 degrees and if we use cos of beta so cos of beta will be again 0 divided by the magnitude so again it is 0 so beta will be cos inverse 0 again so beta is also equal to 90 degrees and similarly cos of gamma will be equal to this minus 1 divided by its magnitude 1 so this is minus 1 so gamma will be cos inverse of minus 1 this will give us 180 degrees so these are the coordinate direction angles of the moment axis so what does this mean is that the moment vector is is magnitude the moment vector is minus 3.364 k and its axis is in the downward direction or the unit vector is in the downward direction so if we draw the moment vector so this is that moment vector about b which is acting in the negative z direction 
Now, if you people do not know this method, you people want to find this MB by using the conventional method. So I will I will find that MB using the conventional method. So that MB vector, this is I J K minus 0 0.01, 0 0.2 and 0, 17.32 minus 10 and 0. So now with I we have to write plus, this is minus, this is plus, this is the conventional method. Now we will write I and then we will consider this matrix, that sub matrix, this is 0 into 0, so that will become 0 and then we have to consider minus J, so this is 0 into 0, so that is 0 J and then we will consider this, this is plus K and minus 0 0.01 into minus and so that will become uh, plus 0 0.1 and then minus the product of this so that is 17.32 into 0 0.2 into k so this is 0 i minus 0 j and this will give us that same value this is 0 0.1 minus 17.32 into 0 0.2 so this will give us that same answer which is minus 3.364k. So this is the moment vector about that point B. So now this is how you can find this uh, unconventional method and this is the conventional method of finding the moment about point B taking the cross product of the uh, moment arm and that force F. So this is the solution of this particular problem I hope this will help you in your learning do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet and let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning.